how's it going guys this is Ryo Murata photographer based in Tokyo so you probably heard it back in 2013 Lomography released the Lomochrome Purple XR 100 to 400 that's long the most controversial film in the photography community for film photographers which kind of shook the world back then because ever since the Kodak Aerochrome was the basically the only type of film stock available for those infrared type of photos Romochrome said, red isn't it, purple is, and kind of spread the love with purple. And I shot it last year at Shinjuku Gyoen, and, bo and oh boy, I was like really excited actually. So two years later, and back in 2015, they actually released another version of this Lomochrome series, which was the turquoise actually, Lomochrome turquoise. And unfortunately, it was sort of like a short run and it was discontinued. However, a lot of fanatics, and including me actually, I was really curious about this film stock and I was I became really happy when they actually re-announced that they would resell this film stock for the public back in 2020 or so. And up until 2022, 2023, they still sell it. And in Japan, specifically in Tokyo actually, the only location you can purchase this film stock is at their Lomography Plus store in Japan, Tokyo, which I made a video video on, and also their online store actually. I'm not sure about like various like film shops if they have this stock available. And from what I see, it's like a really exquisite and sort of like unusual film stock that typically shops don't have. So I was lucky because they had it in stock when I visited the Lomography store in Japan actually. So why not like try it to see and showcase the world the Lomography's love for turquoise so so FYI uh, Lomography on their official website ha there's a page on this Lomo Lomography or Lomochrome turquoise where it basically tells specifically what colors will shift to what colors and for your information to make it easier I would say that if you want the full effects of this turquoise and orange effect I would highly suggest shooting subjects that are yellow and red, which would sort of like shift to that blue, cyan, turquoise, and orange type of colors. And by looking at their website, I realized that the best time to shoot this film stock is probably going to be during the summer seasons because during the summer season, especially in the afternoon, that's where that yellow and orange comes into play. And that would give you the full on effects of this Lomochrome turquoise uh, film stock. Unfortunately, it's winter season and I wanted to see how it would look specifically during the season and at the same time I had a little bit of time so I went to uh, Koishikawa uh, Garden located in Koraku and, and you can basically access this location via three train stops either from Idobashi Station or Koraku Station or the Sudobashi Station and this is like one of the oldest private gardens founded in 1629 by the Tokugawa period actually and during the Edo period so 1629 is like 100 years before the United States became independent so it's a really old garden located in Tokyo and like I said it's a private garden so private gardens typically you have to pay an entrance fee of a couple of hundred yens and yeah and because it's you pay a small fee the garden's like well maintained over the course of this 500 years jeez how do they maintain this area kind of so
So yeah, after shooting, like, you guys probably have noticed, but this style film stock, same for the Metropolis uh, 104 inch, and also the Lomo Chrome Purple actually, those, and this Lomo Chrome Turquoise. So these three film stocks are rated from, are called XR100 to 400. So basically you can shoot whatever ISO you want that pleases you. But you guys know me that I like to overexpose film negatives because due to the fact that by overexposing, so if you shoot it at a bright, like sort of like a brighter photo, what happens is during when you start like processing them, you can basically take down the highlights that are blown out and the shadow area because they get brighter, it doesn't look that muddy or anything. That's what I anticipated, but this Lomo Chrome Turquoise, when I started like editing, I realized that I couldn't get the highlights back as much as I wanted compared to the Lomo Chrome Purple and the Lomo uh, Chrome Metropolis. And I realized I should have shot this film stock around ISO 200, so maybe one stop overexposed or maybe stock at 400. And by doing that, I would have gotten a darker image and I thought and the sky wouldn't be like blown out as much as I wanted. So I learned my mistakes, unfortunately. So it was a great experience like shooting with this film stock. I mean, will I shoot with this film stock again? I'm not sure <laughs> because I saw enough turquoise for that day, actually. And one thing that I forgot to like mention in the beginning of this video is that these Lomo Chrome series, like typically when you get your film negatives, if you get it processed in a lab or if you do it at home, like typically film negatives have a sort of like an indicator on the top right or top left corner. It says like one, two, three, four, five, six. So you know which is the first frame and which one is the last frame, you know? But the Lomo Chrome series, they don't have these like numbers printed on the top right. So you basically have to look in direct sunlight at the negative to see like and bring those memories back that this is the first frame or this is the 36th frame that's something that screwed me over because when i first got it back i was like happy but when i looked at the right hand corner like left hand corner there were no indication of that number what shot what frame it was so it was sort of like mind-blowing like getting it organized and like scanning it in order so yeah and this video marks my end of my journey for the Lomo Chrome series. I shot the Metropolis, I shot the Lomo Chrome Purple, shot the Turquoise. I feel really sort of satisfied right now. And if you were to ask me like which is my favorite like film socks in the Lomo Chrome series, I would highly say the Lomo Chrome Metropolis. That is my favorite foam socks. It's not like I'm gonna be using it every day or so, but it's like in terms of like the style, the effects, the, you know, the color sort of like what I call the color profile, or I don't know what you guys would call it, but I actually enjoy shooting the Lomo Chrome Metropolis out of the three. The second would be the Lomo Chrome Purple, and third, but not least, is the Turquoise because it was, I wanted to see more orange, but there were more blue, and blue is uh, sort of like a color that's like gives a connotation type of meaning. It's a cold tone. And if and I'm not that too cold as a person, so so yeah, it was a like great time like shooting with this film sock. If you ever shot with a Lomo Chrome turquoise, what are your inputs? What are your like sort of like feelings for this like film socks and where would you put this? Would you put it at num and number one stop stop number one uh choice or number two choice or number three choice or did you like the other stocks such as the purple or metrop or metropolis and yeah at the same time i'm like curious if lomography is going to be like making like another film stock i'm guessing if i'm right i'm predicting that after this after they made the purple after after they made the blue or turquoise and they did metropolis I'm guessing that they're gonna make a well. They have a red scale, that, which is red. So I was about to say red, but they kind of covered everything. So I don't know what they're gonna do after this turquoise. So beats me. What are your predictions in the in the Lamography community? And at the same time, I'm kind of curious, like, what kind of film stocks do you want to see Lamography to produce? And for me, I wish Lamography makes a super high speed film stock such as ISO 1600 if they make that 
happen. I would be really happy because they have the 800, you know, the Lomography 800, which a lot of people like acclaim. I enjoy shooting with the Lomography 800, but because the price just went way up, it's not affordable anymore, and the cheapest film stock for 120 is like gold 200. I wish I had a sort of like a sort of like a a choice for the 1600 but I went off topic but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video yeah we'll see you next time peace out